Hi everyone, this is Rob from the Mishimoto Engineering Facility. If you haven't already, like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exclusive content. Today, we're going to install our aluminum radiator in your 2013 plus Ford Focus ST. Since we're already diving into the cooling system, now would be a great time to install our silicone radiator hose kit and engine oil cooler kit for a complete package. Let's get started. Tools required for installation are three millimeter Allen key or socket, T30 Torx bit, quarter inch drive ratchet, eight and 10 millimeter sockets, 3 8 drive ratchet, flat head screwdriver, a panel tool, and Mishimoto's liquid chill. Installation time is three to four hours. Installation difficulty is a four out of five. Remove the four pop clips that secure the top of the bumper cover over the radiator support. Remove the hood release cable by prying the cable stay out of the clip on the bumper and slipping the cable end out of the hood release lever. Set your focus on an automotive lift or raise it with a jack and place it securely on jack stands. Remove the hardware that secures the fender liner to the bumper cover on both sides of the vehicle. Remove the six pop clips that secure the splash panel to the bottom of the front bumper cover. Now remove the air diverter. There are three T30 Torx screws holding it in place. Remove the eight T30 Torx screws that secure the rear under tray. Then remove the rear under tray. Remove the splash panel. There are four T30 Torx screws holding it in place. Release the corners of the bumper cover from the retaining clips by pulling outwards from the inside of the wheel well. Unbolt both headlights. Each headlight has two T30 Torx bolts holding them in place. Remove the two T30 Torx bolts that secure the top of the bumper cover, just inboard of the headlight assemblies. Slide each headlight forward to release them from the vehicle and disconnect the electrical harnesses. Release the tabs that secure the bumper cover under the headlight by lifting them upwards. Then slide the bumper cover forward off the nose of the vehicle. Reach behind the bumper cover and disconnect the fog light electrical harnesses before fully removing the front bumper. Remove the upper air shroud by releasing the two clips. Remove the lower air shroud. There are two T30 Torx fasteners that secure the top of this shroud. Disconnect the electrical harness from the active grille shutters and release the two tree clips that secure the harness. Remove the bumper guard by squeezing the tabs that hold it in place and pulling it forwards. Loosen the clamp on the hot side intercooler coupler and disconnect the coupler from the intercooler. Loosen the clamp on the cold side intercooler coupler and disconnect the coupler from the intercooler. Disconnect the electrical harness for the MAP sensor. 
Remove the two 8mm bolts that secure the intercooler. Then remove the intercooler. Remove the active grille shutters by releasing the four tabs that secure it and lowering it down out of the vehicle. Remove the 10 mm bolt which secures the radiator to the AC condenser. Place a drain pan under the driver's side corner of the radiator and install a short piece of hose over the drain tube. Then loosen the radiator plug to drain the cooling system. Remove the expansion tank pressure cap to accelerate the draining process. Release the quick disconnect clip that secures the lower radiator hose to the radiator. Then work the radiator hose off the radiator. These connections are often very tight, so take your time to avoid damaging the hose connection. Disconnect the small coolant line from the upper passenger side of the radiator. Squeeze the tabs together and slide the line out of the radiator. Release the quick disconnect clip that secures the upper radiator hose to the radiator. Then work the radiator hose off the radiator. This connection can be very tight, so take your time to avoid damaging the hose connection. Release the tree clip that secures the fan wiring harness to the fan shroud. Then disconnect the fan harness from the fan control module. Squeeze the clip on the connector to release it. Release the harness connector from the radiator cradle by sliding it off the clip. Support the radiator cradle and remove the four 10 mm bolts that secure the radiator cradle to the vehicle. At this point, the condenser is still attached to the radiator. Take care not to bend the AC lines when handling this assembly. To remove the condenser from the radiator, cut away the foam strip on the top of the condenser, then slide the radiator down, leaving the condenser in the vehicle. Support the condenser with a zip tie to avoid damaging the AC lines. Remove the radiator from the cradle by lifting it upwards. Remove the isolator bushings from the stock radiator and transfer them to the radiator cradle. Remove the fan shroud assembly from the stock radiator. Lift the tabs on the radiator, then slide the shroud off. Transfer the fan shroud assembly to the Mishimoto radiator. Slide the tabs on the fan shroud into the slots on the radiator. Note the orientation of the upper mounting pegs, then remove them from the stock radiator. Depress the locking tabs to release the mounting peg, then slide the peg out of the radiator. Transfer the mounting pegs to the Mishimoto radiator. Push them in until they lock. Install the provided set screws to secure the fan shroud. Install the Mishimoto radiator into the radiator cradle. Align the pegs with the isolator bushings and slide them in until the radiator bottoms out. Install the Mishimoto radiator. Slide the radiator up behind the condenser, taking care not to damage the fins. Align the tabs on the condenser with the mounting brackets on the radiator and slide them together to secure the condenser. Align the upper mounting pegs with the isolators and slide them in. Then secure the radiator cradle with the original hardware. Install the set screws that secure the condenser to the radiator. Install the upper radiator hose. Lock the clip on the quick disconnect fitting, then push the radiator hose over the radiator outlet until you hear a click. Install the small coolant line to the port on the upper passenger side of the radiator. Push it in until the tabs engage. Install the lower radiator hose. Lock the clip on the quick disconnect fitting, then push the radiator hose over the radiator inlet until you hear a click. Connect the wiring harness to the fan controller. Secure the harness with the integrated tree clip. Attach the wiring harness connector to the radiator cradle by slipping it over the tree clip. Install the active grille shutter assembly. The tabs on the active grille shutter assembly slide into the remaining slots on the radiator. Install the intercooler. The upper tabs of the intercooler must engage the mounting brackets on the radiator. Secure the intercooler with the original 8mm hardware. Connect the electrical harness for the active grille shutters and secure the harness with the integrated tree clip. Connect the map sensor electrical harness. Install the cold side intercooler coupler and tighten the clamp. Install the hot side intercooler coupler and tighten the clamp. Install the bumper guard. Press it into place until the tabs engage the crash beam. Install the upper air shroud. 
press it into place until the tabs engage the radiator support. Install the lower shroud and secure it with the two T30 Torx fasteners. Connect the fog light wiring harnesses. Then slide the bumper cover into place over the nose of the vehicle. Ensure that the tabs on the bumper cover engage the slots under the headlight mounting location. Install the headlights. Connect the wiring harness and secure the headlights with the original T30 Torx bolts. Now align the bumper cover and press the corners into the retaining clips where the bumper meets the fenders. Install the two T30 Torx bolts that secure the bumper cover just inboard of the headlights. Install the four pop clips that secure the upper edge of the bumper cover. Attach the hood latch cable to the lever and clip the cable stay into the bumper cover. Secure the fender liner with the original hardware. In total, there are four T30 Torx fasteners and two pop clips. Install the splash panel and secure it with the original hardware. Install the rear under tray and secure it with the original hardware. Install the air diverter and secure it with the three T30 Torx fasteners you removed earlier. Fill the system with pre-mixed Ford approved coolant through the reservoir cap. Start the engine and allow it to idle with the cap off. Turn the heater control valve on the vehicle's HVAC unit to full hot and put the fan on low. Monitor the engine temperature and coolant level in the reservoir. Add coolant as needed to maintain proper level in the reservoir and check your connections for leaks. If the vehicle begins to overheat or coolant starts to overflow from the reservoir, shut off the engine and allow it to cool before continuing. Once the vehicle is fully warmed up and the coolant level has stabilized, allow the vehicle to cool off completely and top off the coolant level. Now that you have the radiator installed, double check all your hose connections and make sure that they're tight. Be sure to bleed the cooling system of any trapped air and check it once more after putting in some miles. Don't forget to click subscribe before you head out.